does AGS ever really go away? And if so, what is the likelihood that it will return? So I can tell you that it does, it can really go away. It does go away for some folks. Um, the, the caveat in all of this when it comes to resolution of AGS really seems to be the tick bites. So if folks are able to avoid additional tick bites and there may be other environmental things um, that are part of this process that, that we're not aware of yet. For example, perhaps bee and wasp stings may play a role in perpetuating AGS. But if we leave that aside for a second and we really kind of focus on tick bites, it seems as though for patients who can eliminate tick bites or put in enough prevention strategies that they really don't get bitten for several years, then those are the folks who seem to have the best chance of resolution of AGS. Currently, we think that the cells which produce the alpha-gal IgE, these are called B cells, they're antibody producing cells, they seem to not be long-lived. We call them blast cells as opposed to memory cells. Memory cells are long-lived and probably in some of our patients and, um, and research subjects who uh, get lots of tick bites, those um, B cells become memory cells. And it may be that those people who just have one or two tick bites and happen to have bad luck to develop AGS, those cells really don't become memory cells. And over a period of time, a few years, they tend to wane into exhaustion and the syndrome essentially resolves. 